Do you know who invented the lens? The name Antony van Leeuwenhoek may not be as familiar as Alexander Graham Bell or Thomas Alva Edison. Even so, what it created was not something unrecognizable. In fact, everyone has probably seen it, at least once in a lifetime. Yes, lenses. Van Leeuwenhoek's great discovery began when he succeeded in making a microscope, where the object was made of small lenses whose focal length was made very short. To note, at that time the microscope was not something that could be obtained easily, given the license to use it which was quite difficult. Van Leeuwenhoek then began to develop it, without anyone's help and without any previous formal educational background. It is said that the microscope he developed was much more powerful than the existing similar tools. This Dutch scientist succeeded in producing a much greater magnification power than the stacking lens microscope that already existed at that time. Unmitigated, one of the lenses it makes can reach up to 270 times the magnification power. With this lens, Antony van Leeuwenhoek can observe many materials, including human hair, dog sperm, rainwater, small insects, muscle fibers, skin tissue, to bacteria and protozoa. Thanks to his success in observing and describing these single-celled organisms, this scientist who was born in Delft, the Netherlands on October 24, 1632, is also often referred to as the father of microbiology and is considered the first microbiologist. Died of a rare disease. Throughout his life, Antony van Leeuwenhoek has gone through many twists and turns of life. Starting from being a linen curtain merchant to becoming the father of microbiology. He has two wives. From his first wife, he had five children but only one survived since childhood. In 1671, Antony remarried but in 1694, his second wife also died. Antony himself died at the age of 90 years due to a rare disease he suffered. The disease causes his wrists to move uncontrollably. Towards the end of his life, the scientist who started his career as a merchant still had time to write a letter to the London Royal Society to report the results of his latest observations, including analysis and description of his illness. Van Leeuwenhoek's disease, as it was called. He is buried in Oud Kirk, Delft, Netherlands. That was the inventor of the lens that you are currently using. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you get other interesting videos.